Hello everyone and welcome to Xbox One on Xbox One. Today we're taking a look at the original Xbox games which have been added to backwards compatibility. They've been added today although I can't find any of the games on the store at the moment. So this is your Xbox dashboard. Make sure you apply the autumn update first of all. We're going to take a look at how to run Xbox One on Xbox One. So again, make sure you're signed into Xbox Live and make sure you have the autumn update. You can watch the video if you want. There's nothing really that interesting there, to be honest. They've changed the UI for this quite a few times, none of which I've ever been happy with. But this one seems OK. Uh, I do did browse the store, make our way along to the store here at the end. There's absolutely nothing about any of the games here, any of the backwards compatibility games. So I guess they haven't updated the store yet. We've got to browse games and we'll hit up that. Very slow, the Xbox store, I have to say. It is very, very slow. Um, you, oops. Nope. There you go, games. Games, that's what I want. Maybe it's under deals. Is it under deals? Nah, it's not under deals. Uh, we'll go to games and we'll go to games that are coming soon. I doubt there'll be games that are coming soon. Um, I went to backward compatible games. Now this entire list, I went through the whole list and they were all Xbox 360 games. There was not one uh, original Xbox game. Maybe go to coming soon and we'll have a look at... It's just all Assassin's Creed, Wolfenstein things. But the games were meant to be coming out today and they were meant to be on the Xbox store today. But no, there's nothing here. These are all just games that are coming out. Battlefront 2, etc. So what we're going to do is we are going to go through the process of installing a game via the disc because it's not available on the store. So we'll navigate back to our home screen. We'll grab our disc and we'll pop, uh, I'm putting in Knights of the Old Republic in case you're wondering. So we'll pop our disc into the system. Oh, that was not slick. That was not slick at all. I think I've hurt me back now. So we'll pop the disc in, let it read the disc. Uh, so we pop that in. Takes a few seconds. And there you see there we have update this for Xbox One. It did flash up there at the bottom as Knights of the Old Republic. It is 4.3 gigabytes to install. Okay, so I guess it'll just download a version when we hit install. And you can see here we've got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, which is installing. It won't let us do anything with it. And we'll go to My Games and Apps and... Is it in here? Yeah, there it is. Knights of the Old Republic is installing. So what we'll do is we will come back uh, when this is finished. All right, so we are back with our Knights of the Old Republic install. I'm going to have to learn to wait a few seconds before shutting off the, uh, the, the uh, recording. Uh, so it still says Alien Isolation there, even though um, KOTOR is the uh, game installed. So I guess it'll just be in our My Games and Apps folder, and there it is Star Wars KOTOR. So let's fire up this bad boy and see what we get. Ooh, a nice big uh, Darth Malak. I like it. Why didn't we get Revan? I mean, I know Malak's on the front cover, but... Revan's the star here. So we'll do a little bit. We'll play it a little bit. Ooh, we got a nice uh, 1080p Xbox logo. That's pretty cool. Sinking data. There we go. So these are all uh, 1080p upscaled. Uh, well, they probably will play with black bars. I was going to say whether they'll play with black bars or not. But there you go. That has answered the question. Developed by Bioware when they were good. So let's watch the intro movie. The force fights with 
with me. Get on this gun turret. I realize that by not talking over this, we should skip it actually because uh, copyright. What have we got? Options, gameplay, normal, easy, difficult. Let's go for normal. Uh, let's go for easy. Screw it. We'll go for easy. I haven't played this for a while. Reverse, in game, mini game. Yeah, we'll go with that. Combat movement. Yeah, auto save. Yep. No auto level up. Feedback. Hide unequipable. Ooh. Yeah, subtitles, floating numbers, controller vibration, auto pause. Enemies. No, not enemy sighted. I never like enemy sighted. It's quite annoying. New target selected. Uh, we'll go enemy. In fact, we'll go with enemy sighted, shall we? Let's go with a new game. Can be a scoundrel, a scout, or a soldier. Let's go be. Ah, oh, it's gonna be a scoundrel. Screw it. Uh, custom character. Let's go with a custom character or a portrait. They all look kind of creepy. Uh, I was like that one with the scar. You can't get Revan, you know, as he was. Uh, attributes. Um, dexterity was ranged attacks, wasn't it? One in there. Uh, charisma, because you're a scoundrel, you need to be charismatic. Must spend all of the points. Oh, we got 28 points remaining. Alright, dexterity, bit of strength. Constitutions are health. I don't want to die. So I have to. 17, 16, uh, 15. Charisma! Scoundrel! Always want to talk your way out of stuff. I don't know if you can hear the audio, I have got it very low. Skills! Uh, demo, demo's a class skill. You had cross class skills and class skills. Cross class skills cost you two points, class skills cost you one point. Obviously stealth, but uh, okay we'll go with that. Awareness, want plenty of awareness. Persuade is a class skill, we'll go with pers stealth, persuade. Yeah, we want a bit of persuade. Repair is a cross class. Class skills of security, cross class. We got Mission Veo uh, pretty early in the game, so she can do the security stuff. We'll do the demolitions. Uh, awareness is the uh, ability to sort of see enemies. And again, I think it, uh, you can detect stealth and things like that. Um, persuade, obviously, we're a scoundrel. Feats, what feats do we want? We have armor proficiency light, like, crit strike, sniper shot, and we got blaster pistol proficiency. Um, I think we'll be focused on the blaster or X to do that. Uh, well, yeah, we'll go for that. Seems like a good one. Name is I oh, don't know. Um, let's call him. Spoiler alert: We're we're not. We're so not Revan. Because we're not Revan. Surely we can't be Revan. There you go. We'll be not Revan. Close. There you go. We're done. Let's accept this bad boy and we'll escape the Endar Spire. Oh, it's got the black and white buttons now. Can't have the Star Wars intro. Go away. It's very small. No. No, we flag for copyright. God, the cutscenes are tiny. These cutscenes are really tiny. We've been ambushed by a Sith battle fleet. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. I'm Trask Olgo, ensign with the Republic fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite shifts. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find How does he know we that we're his sure bunkmate, though? The ship alive. Who the hell's Bastila? Bastila is the commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. 
but she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. I know all about your reputation, how you used to smuggle spice and blasters along the Corellian run. I guess the Republic figured since they couldn't catch you, they might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady past. Oh, shady past, eh? Mission, you're part of the Republic fleet, and Bastila needs all troops at her side during this attack. <laughs> That's the scoundrel answer. Chance against the Sith by yourself. We gotta stick together if you wanna make it out of this alive. So hurry up and grab. You said I was gonna fight. I was gonna embrace the oldest and noblest of scoundrel traditions, and that is run the fuck away. Well, the game is alright. The controls are a bit kind of stiff. I don't know, the last time we played this was mouse and keyboard. Let's go get our stuff. Get items. XP points. Nice. Start menu. Get our clothes. Put on some pants. God damn it. Uh, blaster pistol. Stealth field generator. We need that. Right, there we go. That's better. Okay, let's move out. We should stick together. You'll have more success with the party than on your own. Party. Have you already selected them? No, no we haven't selected them. Remove. I is selected. Done. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override code. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. All right. How did you use them again? Yeah, there you go. All right. Yes. Right. White button is to pause the game. White button's uh, the left bumper. I take it the black button is the uh, is the right bumper. Now that the door is open, you better take the lead again. All right. <laughs> Switching. Not Revan. Not Revan. Honest. Does have a shady past. It's not like he's. This is Cardinal Nasty. Threatening to overrun our position. We can't hold out long against their firepower. All hands to the bridge. That was Karth contacting us on our portable communicators. He's one of the Republic's best pilots. He's seen more combat. And he's and he's a pain in the arse. Together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. There's a map of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, just in case we get separated. I don't need tutorials. I know how to use the journal. Carry on. This that is... door is locked. I don't have the codes to open it. But switch me to the party leader so you can use my security skills to slice into the access panel and open the door. Righty ho. I can do that, buddy. Alright, use security. Use the D-pad to select the bottom menu. You see where the stormtroopers got their aim from now. These Sith must be the advanced boarding party for the Republic. For the stealth. Uh, we'll try sniper shot, shall we? Fill up with sniper shots. What? Yeah, I got him. Did he drop any loot? Oh. That droids bought it. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks comparable to the PC version at 1080p, at least. I mean, it is a nice, clean image uh, compared to the version I played uh, earlier this year. I did have a go at it on the original Xbox. But yeah, it is, you know, a tidied up image. Oh, what have we got? Sniper shot, it's all we got, really. Oh, we'll just attack him. He don't queue up attack. He's dead. Good job, um, red shirt guy. Med packs. We don't need med packs. I haven't been hit yet. Whoa, stop. Nope, no loot, loot in there. The annoying thing about the console version is that 
you know, you use the, in the PC, you use the mouse to select things. In this, you kind of, I think you do use, can you use the right analog stick? No. You can't use the D-pad. Alright, it took a while to loot that guy, though. Uh. Man, these Republic troops are pretty crappy, aren't they? Oh, I killed his own dude with a grenade. Press A to engage. I'm gonna respond to that grenade with a grenade of my own. Yeah! I get him, I did get him with a sniper shot. Not doing much damage to him. I heal up. Two! Come on, do better than that. There you go. Four that time. Oh crap, there's more of these dudes. Use a grenade. Yeah! Come on, I rolled a mess there. That was bad. X performs combat. X. Ah, oh, there you go. Pressing X adds it there. Pressing E like an idiot. Med pack. I've got a feeling that won't... Oh, I got a med pack, it's alright. That one. Want some nades. Some grenades. Wouldn't catch a grenade for you, but I'd throw one at you. It's a dark Jedi. This fight is too much for us. We better stay back. All we do is get in the way. But I'm Darth. Oh, never mind. Oh, she won. Oh. That was one of the Jedi accompanying Bastila. Too soon. Damn, we could have used her help. Yeah, well, win some, you lose some. Need. Oh, they're dead. Oh. Well. We get a lightsaber. No, you never get a lightsaber this early in the game. This is always one of the ones where you would always sort of stop leveling up. So always turn off auto level up. Because you only get 20 levels in the game. That's nothing. But yeah, I'm quite happy with the way it looks. Runs okay as well, seemingly. Shut up, whatever your name is. Fighting in close quarters. Shut up. Said okay. I've got nades. Um, how do we pick the enemy we want to fight? Oh well, looks like we're. I'll be fighting that dude over there. No, I want to fight the dude in front of me. I've leveled up. Use me last frag grenade. There you go. Was not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith want Bastila alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting the Endar spire into galactic dust. So hope they don't decide to blast Taras into dust. Ah, oh, explosion! Six credits. Oh, that. There you go. There's a look at Taras. Before it gets destroyed, spoiler alert. I think we will level up. Uh, persuade, stealth, demo. Feats, 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 feats. Um, plus five to damage, minus three to hit. Let's go with rapid shot. Character suffer a minus four defense. Ah, screw it. Oh, X. Sorry. Keep pressing A, I'm just so used to A. A is the character trait. I don't care about that dude, he's ca SPOILER ALERT, HE DIES! Just saying, he dies. Something behind here. Damn, 
Oh, it's uh, Darth Bandon. He'll become important later on. Oh well, I liked him. I liked that dude better than Karth, though. It's all right. I'm not Revan. Starboard. Let's go there. Saving game. It takes a while to save. The PC, you're just, just the instant. This is Carthal Nassi on your personal communicator. I'm tracking your position through the Endar Spire's life support systems. Basilis escape pod is away. You're the last surviving crew member on the Endar Spire. Now I can't wait for you much longer. Ugh, I'm stuck distance. with him. Be careful. This is Sith Patrol just down the court. Alright, let's go stealth. Scoundrel time! Oh yeah. Continue. I am sneaking. I am sneaking. What have we got as well? Adrenaline. We've got an adrenaline stim. Adrenal, should we say? And the adre oh, adrenal string. I thought it said adrenaline string. I am sneaky. Oh, I'm not sneaky no more. I'm gonna be sneaky now. I'm just gonna sneak past these dudes because I'm a scoundrel and I don't have a shotgun. Uh, security panel. Hmm. I've only got one computer spike. Boo. Ah, uh, looks like we're gonna have to do this the scoundrel way. Uh, continue. Reactivate the droid. Shit, we've only got one repair part. I haven't got good computer use skill. Ah, well. Cryo grenade, sonic grenade, ion grenade. Ah, screw it. You lose defense while using the rapid shot. Or you could use computer spikes to slice into the terminal and use the Endar Spire security systems. Again. I have neither skills here. Uh, they not give you? They give you them, don't they? And the loot. Yeah, spikes and parts. Wait, that was that for me? No, it was just the loot. Yeah, I know how to do that. Five spikes. We got six of them. Let's overload it. Die, Sethies. There you go. They're all dead. Oh, XP for the Lord. Haha! -ha. Ooh, an Ion Blaster. Ion Blaster is only useful against droids, if I remember. There he is, not Revan. Uh, blaster Pistol. We could use dual wield the Blaster Pistol. But it's minus five to hit. There you go, we do wield. We're a gunslinger now. You've made it just in time. Shoot him. Oh, I'm taking it. We can hide out on the planet below. No no. I'm the soldier with the Republic. Like you. We're the last two I'm not a soldier in the Republic. Basilis escape pod's already gone, so there's no reason for us to stick around here and get shot by the Sith. Now, come on. There'll be time for questions later. Fine. Deck. Why can't you leave him? It'd be a better game if you could have left him. Why does nobody ever think to shoot the escape pods? Like, they never shoot the escape pods. There you go. Pre destroyed Taris. Can have a dream about not being Revan.
Well, we didn't have a dream about not being red. We had a dream about Bastila, though. So, you know. That's something. Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? <laughs> I'm not Revan. I've been slipping in and out of consciousness <laughs> for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed. But luckily, I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site in all the confusion. And I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time the Sith arrived on the scene, we were long gone. You don't have to thank me. Well, I guess we should thank him. On a mission, and I'm not about to start now. Besides, I'm gonna need your help. Terrace is under Sith control. I love the theme, the, the Star Wars theme they're playing in the background here. It's awesome. It's gonna get flagged for copyright, mind you. Yeah, I'm a raw recruit. Way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. If we're gonna find Bastila and get off this planet, we can't rely on anybody but ourselves. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's Bastila's the boring. While you were out, I did. But the Undercity's a dead. Good idea. Yeah, I'll just go to the end of it. That dialogue's always a bit annoying there. Right, so that is Knights of the Old Republic on Xbox One. Overall, looks pretty good so far. Runs surprisingly well, really. And it looks good, I have to say. It does look nice. I mean, I ran the PC version with mods at... Right, so, uh, back again. That was a phone call there. Uh, apologies for that there. Uh, have you heard a phone ringing there? Uh, I will, would have edited it out, mind you. But anyway, so that is all for this video, and thank you for joining me. We might stream this at some point in the week. Maybe, maybe tomorrow, maybe the weekend, because I'm off on weekends now. So maybe stream it. What's in this loop? Container computer spikes and med packs. We got mission veil for that. We don't need computer skills anyway in this game But anyway, I will leave you there and there you go. That is a first look at Knights of the Old Republic on Xbox one So thank you for joining me and we'll see you again soon and goodbye